you bone idol. You, you bow for England. And you, you walk in a classroom, throw a few worksheets at them, then sit on your ass and knit. You never talk. Your mind's always elsewhere, and if it's not elsewhere, you're knackered. Falling asleep in front of the telly, and I'm sick of it, right? It's Bolton Trevor. He says you're racist. Days, Mr. Azad's coming to pick up some work for her. I can sort it out. No, thank you. Teaching her, know where she's up to. No, thank you. I'm grateful for all you did to save my daughter's life. Makes it very difficult for me to say what I have to say. But please, would you learn from this? Would you leave my daughter alone? I'll show you out, shall I? Hey, you think it's looking out? You look good. 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 With you, hey, hey! What's going on? Hey! Don't walk away when I'm talking to you. What's going on? We're on your side. Do you know what I mean? No. Well, if you want to call them niggers, we'll call them niggers. Why hasn't Carter been suspended? Look, if everyone was suspended who was caught fighting, there'd be nobody in the school. It wasn't a fight. It was a vicious attack by a white kid on a black. Bullshit. I was there. I stopped it. A member of staff saw the whole thing. Drew. I'm only saying what I saw. I saw a pre-arranged fight. I'll tell you what you saw. Man. No, what I saw. I saw a pre-arranged fight between two lads. What you saw was a white kid knocking the shite out of a black kid. Come on, that's it. If it had been more. the other way around, it'd have stopped it, eh? Sit what? down. And why are you taking his word for it anyway? Drew, Drew, Drew can you do hey, it? I think down. we've heard enough. You'll still know if this man's a racist. Just, just a minute. Pack it in now, man. Just, just a minute. Come on, pack it in. God, Leroy Brown, a nigger. What's he doing in this school? Why have they been thrown out of I didn't ear? call him a nigger. I said if he I called someone him, queer, you? I'd call him a nigger. There's a bit of difference, Can you know what I mean? Trevor, Trevor, please. Come on, sit, sit down. down and stop if one it. of the kids looked on Just sit down. We'd have had him out of school like that, Just so why not have him out of school? I'm not having this. Look, I'm not having this. What am I doing in this school? What are you doing Come on, Alan. This should have been sacked. It's not a bad idea. This is supposed to be a staff meeting. Please have some order. You don't do a bleeding tap. Look, enough. Please. Shut up. Behaving like idiots, both all we need. Uh, I'd like to say something. Oh. I, I don't usually speak. I, I know I run on a bit, but I don't usually speak at this kind of event about anything controversial. I don't stick my head above the parapet. And I don't want to support Drew McKenzie because we all know his views on opting out. Uh, no offence, but his views were different from ours. However, I think uh, Drew McKenzie was, was right to say what he said. Uh, on this issue, Drew has my full support. I feel I have to say that. Why? Why do I have to say it? Yeah. Because I'm gay. And if anybody black called me queer, if you, Trevor, called me queer, I like to think I'd have the courage to call you nigger.
teaches me. That fascist bastard teaches me. Do you like a bit of fascist dick, do you? Does he rub his fascist hands all over your fascist tits? Who was it? I don't know. He's got a chief phone in your ear, hasn't he? Who? Do you know him? It was an obscene phone call. Someone you teach. Someone from that bloody school giving me an obscene phone call. You're gonna go and see him? Who? You know who. No. Shall we talk about it? Uh, I want to report an obscene phone call. Thanks. Shall we talk about it? I can't talk about it, right. Mackenzie. Someone's been screwing her, you know that, don't you? Yeah. We'll find out who it is and break the bastard's legs. Such a strong point, isn't it? Shouldn't it? You'd have done it a few years ago. What's so different now? Take the life of the Good job. <laughs> what did the police say? Do you reckon it's a one-off? If it happens again, they'll do something. Have you got an answer machine? No. We can lend you one. Thanks. I'm worried it might be taking too much on. Fine. You got a young family? Yeah. Do you ever get to see them? Who's been talking? No one. It's just my way of saying I know what it's like. You get home, you like to spend a bit of time with your own kids, but you're tired and you've got a mountain of books to mark. This football team must take up a lot of your time. A bit, yeah. Well, you could get someone else to do it. Who? I mean, they're not exactly queuing up to take teams, are they? Well, Trevor says he'll do it. No. Well, maybe it takes a fight or two for the kids to see sense. Clear the air. Yeah. But it would be nice to get back to normal. Yeah. Particularly the third year football team. Please don't do this to me. You do this to me, you're agreeing with them. You're agreeing with them on a racist. I don't see it that way. To me, it makes sense for whoever gets them next year to have them now. Continuity. I won't be here next year. Well, you're coming to the end of your probationary year. I was hoping you'd keep me on. Oh, it's impossible, I'm afraid. You've kept probationers on before. In exceptional cases. You're good, Drew, but you're not exceptional. You're sacking me. I'm not. You're sacking me. You are coming to the end of your probationary year. You've made mistakes. You've learned from them. It's time to start again, someone new, with a clean slate. I don't want to start again. It's in your best interest, Drew. What if I can't get a job anywhere else? You will. I'll write you a wonderful reference. We got an obscene phone call last night. You accusing me? It was one of the kids. Well, if you find out who it was, I'll have a word that's out of order. My wife answered it. Like I say, find out who it was, I'll have a word. I've got three kids. One of them could have answered it. Yeah. Find out who it was. Behave. Stay. 
Sure, if I start, I'll kill you. Now behave. All you gotta do, man, is say you were wrong. The kid will accept that. They're decent kids, do you know what I mean? Let me just say you were wrong. We'll be discussing metaphysical poetry. I didn't see a thing. He never put a foot wrong, did you, Joanna? I'll get you that answer machine. I'm going to run this school one day, Drew. You know what that'll do? It'll show every black kid in this city that anything is possible. With all that at stake, I can't afford to put a foot wrong. An answer machine. I'd like you to sign for it. I'm sorry, I can't take your call at the moment, but if you'd like to leave a message, your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye. You see a red light flashing, it means there's a message. Right. Are you okay? There's no job for me next term. It worked me bollocks off. <laughs> The best day of my life was when? Now, why is that wrong? Anyone tell me? The best day of my life was the day on which, okay? Then you can describe what happened. So you could say, the best day of my life was the day on which we went to the seaside. Or... Not you, Paula. What? You're staying behind. What? Because you've been a pain all lesson and I want to talk to you about it. Stay in Beyond. Fowler, you're in enough trouble. Stay. Fowler. Fowler! Would you leave us a moment, please? I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. His parents. They say you to go nowhere near them unless there's a third party present. See you again, Jackie. See you never done nothing. Yes, right. Got you, big bastard. Mac, all right? Wrong. All right, say. Sit down. Who's supposed to be taking you? Ariston. Who's Ariston? Shottensay. Mr. Shottensay. Not one peep. Join me.
I remember my first year teaching. Mistakes, yeah. Lots of mistakes. Classes are dreaded going into. And envy. <laughs> Other teachers could walk in and stop them talking like that. I was trying to console myself. Tell myself that they were too authoritarian, that kids only shut up through fear. Discipline should be self-discipline. Yeah? Yeah. Well, there's the odd triumph, too. I'd feed on it. It'd last me for weeks. The odd lesson that went down well, the odd kid that'd come up and say, that was good, that's it. Exhilaration. That's what I remember about my first term. Highs and lows and energy. Yeah. Something happens. The energy ebbs away. The highs get fewer and fewer and they don't compensate for the lows anymore. So you level it all out. Long and flat and straight and safe. So it gets boring. You get boring. I was a good teacher once. Honest. I was a good teacher once. We could offer him breakdown. Six months full pay, six months half, then early retirement. We can't afford it. There's no cheaper alternative. Isn't it? Drunk on duty is a sacrament offence. He was doing the school play. Well, we'll find someone else. Will we? I run a department. I couldn't possibly take on the play. Then suggest someone who could. Can I be blunt? Yes. You're sacking a colleague of mine, totally disregarding the years he's given to this school. My answer's no. All my time and energy goes into teaching. I'd only be letting the kids down if I took on extra responsibility, do you know what I mean? Last time I did the school play, I had six months off with nervous exhaustion. You must be bloody joking. Take a seat. Look, Drew, I'm going to give you a job. It's a massive responsibility, so if you think you're not up to it, just say so. And there'll be no hard feelings. I'd like you to take over the school play. Why me? Because it takes energy, commitment, and flair. And everyone else has said no. So far. What can I think about it? What is there to think about? Well, I mean, it's a bit like jumping into someone's grave, isn't it? You feel you ought to support Shotton? Yeah. Was he a good teacher? Once, yeah. Was he a good teacher? No. So, you'd be supporting him at the children's expense? I suppose so, yeah. You do realise that there's a job going now? Yeah. Well, make a good job of the play, and who knows? Come in, tiny tits. Welcome, good Masale. Now sit me closer while it's safer here and call in question our necessities. Oh, should art thou gone? No more, I pray you. Masale, I have here received letters that Jan Octavius and Mark Antony come down upon us with the mighty power, bending their expedition towards Philippi. Tinius, not tiny tits. <laughs> You're doing the play? Yeah. What's he done? He sacked a bloody drunk who couldn't teach to save his life, that's all. I know you want to do well, Drew. I know you've got a family. He's right, I've got a family. Yeah, that doesn't mean that you've got, got a bloody to family, and I'm not going to start next term on the dole. I've done my bit, you know what I mean? I've been in a union, a proper bloody union, not this Mickey Mouse NUT. I've been out the gate, I've done all that, and it's crap. I just want to teach kids. I want to earn a few bob doing what I've always wanted to do, and that's all that matters, right? Bullshit. Means I'll be staying behind most nights. 
Stay behind most nights now. Connect four. Where? There. My mm. turn. It's mum's, then yours. It's mine. It's mum's. Mum. Right. I'll be staying behind later, is what I'm saying. Right. Hey, little chief. Look, I could be out the gates before the bells stop ringing. There's plenty of teachers like that, but that's not me, you know what I mean? He's using you. If it's a toss up between the dole and working all the hours God sends, I'd sooner have you working. I'm not upset about that, Drew. I'm upset because he's using you. Stay there. I'm sorry, I can't take your call. Did you like to read the message? Your name and number. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye. Hello, uh, message for Mr. Mackenzie from Zahira's father. Hello, Mr. Azad, I'm here. Oh, uh, yes. I was just wondering if you could come over to the house. When? That's a bit awkward. Okay, half an hour. You going? Yeah. <laughs> feel as though you never want to go back. I used to think I was a coward because I was frightened of things. Then I realised, you can't be brave unless you're frightened. Because being brave means doing the things you're frightened of. Agreed, yeah? Yeah. So, when you walk in that school tomorrow, people are going to go, God, she's not half brave, I couldn't do that. Also agreed, yeah? Yeah. Right, this one's a six-letter word and it means one only. Absolutely only one of its kind. Anybody guessed it? Anybody? Anybody? The word is unique. First stand up, but you're penalised if your hands up before your fingers on the word. Anybody? Anybody? Sing! Sing! Sing it on word. Sing it on word, I hope. Yes, two bonus points. The next word is... The next word is a... Ten-letter word, and it means extremely brave. Extremely brave. Anybody guessed it? No. The word is courageous. It can mean level of noise or book. You've got to go to Miss Parsons' class to hear it. No. Your father said. Excuse me. To you to teach her. All right. 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 A six letter word, and it can mean level of noise or book. Anybody guessed it? The word is volume. They just come back and get picked straight away. I turn up all the time. Do you want to pass in the school play? To best we speak no harm of Bruce is here. This season was a trial. says it's rude. Pleb. <laughs> yeah. Shakespeare calls them plebs. She says I can't be a pleb. So what do you want to be? Let's see what can say. Peace out, let us hear him. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. <laughs> I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred within their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The note said, this is crap. <laughs> it's Shakespeare. Right, me thinks it's crap. <laughs> 
What does everyone else think? <laughs> All right. All right. Where have you been? I came straight from school. The yeah, Ursus. Pint? Yeah. Tested positive. It's from the education. Church Road Comp. I thought he was coming to ours. We can't get him in your school. It's full. I said you'd have a word. With the boss? Well, you're a teacher. You should be able to get your own nephew in. See what I can do. When? I don't know. He had a busy man. No chance of meeting Lord Lucan. Cheers. How do you expect me to learn respect when all my self-respect has been wrecked? You're supposed to be a helper learner, but you're really not on but a mind for nine. Yeah. I need a bit of music for the school play. Not interested. Leroy, I'm sorry I hurt you. If I could turn the clock back, I'd handle it differently, but I can't, so I'm sorry I hurt you. I can't say I was wrong, but I'm sorry I hurt you. Will that do? Yeah. Well? Julius Caesar, yeah? Triangles, submarines, crap like that? No, modern. Anything you want. Anything? Yeah. Look, we're not that good, you know what I mean? We can practice. Right. Nice one. Putting your philosophies up on a blackboard Cup on the desk, a stale coffee on your breath In the staff room while the kids are all playing Teachers are preaching and praying, scheming and saying Children are not here Yeah, I like that one Yeah, that's a good It's modern dress bomber Tell him Caesar chooses not to come. stabbing him and I know I've got to stab him too otherwise I'm not a part of the gang am I and once you pull the knife you've got to use it haven't you otherwise you've got no bottle they'll all say you've got no bottle now the really brave thing to do is drop the knife and walk away but I'm not brave enough so I stab another human being I stab Julius Caesar because I'm not brave enough not to do it This place about us, right? The way we live today. Wait till you see. 
It's all in sections, so we can take it apart and build it on the stage on right. the day. I want a load of graffiti. Right. Strong stuff, you know what I mean? Don't hold back. Ah, Drew. You were asking about your nephew, Peter Ryan. Yeah. Comprehensive schools are wonderful for other people's kids. The parents here at the school is opting out the round like a shark, trying to get the kids in. No, that's got nothing to do with it. Peter lives two streets away. I think he's got more right to come here than some kid three miles away in a leafy suburb. We've got six feet of primaries, 300 kids chasing 180 places. He's my nephew. He's got two brothers here. <sighs> Leave it with me. Thanks. Oh, one other thing. This play... Yeah? It is Julius Caesar. A modern version, yeah. How modern? Pretty modern. Well, you're sticking to the text. As much as we can, yeah, but it's a musical. Loads of song and dance. The kids are loving it. <sighs> it can't be done, I'm afraid. I can promise you a wonderful play. People are going to love it. Shakespeare as Shakespeare intended. Or nothing at all. Hey, sir. That's tremendous, that Sahira. Will you all sit down, please? Everyone. Everyone sit down, please. We can't do it the way we want it. It's not that bad. Will you listen? It's not that bad because I've seen the way we've all worked together and I know we can do the best Julius Caesar in the world, right? We'll be able to say, look, look what we did with a play we didn't even want to do. We knocked your eyes out, left you gobsmacked. Imagine what we'd be able to do with a play we really liked. So come on, eh? Let's show them. Let's show them, eh? And what about us? I can't do it, I'm sorry. Take no nonsense from any of them. You'll come to Northfield, Peter. I'll get you in. You can't. I will. Promise, right? Right. Ready? Yeah. Bye. See ya. Sure. See you later. I don't want any of you messing around, okay? What do you want to do? Talk. You sure? No. Me neither. Should we just go local? Yeah. It begins to bed. Aye, aye, say, go 
How's he play going? I don't think there'll be a West End transfer. You could always say you can't do it. It's too late for that. I said I'd do it. What's it going to look like if I pull out? Take notice. Drew! I'm with me wife, you know what I mean? Let go of me. Okay! If I'm on my own, I'll take it, but no one I'm with take me wife. Take it out, Jonathan. Mind your own business. He's choking me here. Hey, I'm taking you home and I'm telling you There's that. There's no right? need to treat the lad like Look, that. Look, if I let him go, he'll do one now. Keep your nose out. Either sort it out with your dad or sort it take out. Take your hands you. off him, please. I teach this boy, okay? Then you should know better. That's no way to treat anybody, no matter what they've done. Piss off. Okay, I moaned when you were training, but at least I felt as if I made a bit of a difference. Everything's new. You'd tell me about it. You'd even ask for advice now and again. You hated it. I didn't hate it. I moaned because we always seem to talk about your problems. Me and the kids had to take a back seat, but at least we talked about your problems. I was allowed in occasionally. Now we're just another problem along with all the other problems in school. Well, how do you think that feels? Who was he? No one you'd know. Did you screw him? Yeah. times. Once. You're lying. No. Your name Mackenzie? Yeah. What are you doing picking on that lad over there? Who are you? Why are you picking on him? You his dad? No. And it's got nothing to do with you now. Do you mind? I'm talking. You're going to make trouble for him at school, aren't you? I'll talk to his dad, not you. You make trouble for him and I'll look shite at you. What? I think you heard. Look, mate, is isn't enough trouble already. You're just making it a lot worse. Now go. Walk. Should we go somewhere else? Yeah. Should we go outside? What? I'm asking you to come outside and talk about it like a man. Oh, piss off. You say nothing about him in school, understand? Behave, lad. You say nothing. Hey! 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 Oh, do you think you are? Hey. Stop it, you Talk to his dad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get out. Outside. Hey, come on, come on. Calm down. Just behave yourself. Come on, outside, pal, will you? Just cut it out. Just cut it out, will you? Farewell, good Strato. Caesar now. Now be still. A passerby intervened. I killed not the He's written to me. Says you used excessive force. I restrained him. He did run away otherwise. He did run away, as a matter of fact. You told this man to piss off. Yes. Well, he was offended. I'm sorry. Then there's this brawl in the pub. Mask. It wasn't a brawl, it was almost a brawl. It doesn't look good. Free from the bondage, you, are in right. you think it's a good idea to live near the school? I think it's crucial. I disagree. This nephew of yours, Peter, he's remedial. I know. Well, he'd be much better off at Church Road. All his mates are coming here. Church Road has got an excellent remedial department. I know. Peter's got a bad stutter. He gets picked on. He needs to be with his mates. Sorry. He, only, in a general honest he lives talk, just outside the gates. If he lived any closer, he'd be any with us. Sorry. His life was gentle, and the elements so mixed in him that nature might stand up and say to all the world, this was a man. According to his virtue... It's good, by the way. Let us use him. With all rights and respects of burial. Within my tent, tonight his bones shall lie. Most like a soldier, ordered honourably. So call the field to rest and let's away to part the glories of this happy day. Thank you. 
Where is thy leather apron and thy bill? What dost thou with thy best of parallel? You, sir, what trade are you? Truly, sir, in respect of a fine workman, I am, but as you would say, a cobbler. But what trade are thou? Answer me directly. If you think we're going to sit through this, the next two hours you've got another thing sit coming. Down, sit down, come on, sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Come in, let's on. wreck it. Let's wreck the thing. Yes, come in, let's wreck it. Come on, Timothy Winters. His belly is white. His neck is dark. 
and his hair is an exclamation mark. His clothes are in off. Skirt a crow. And through his breeches, the blue wind blows. Stop! The O.C. It's just the O's. Nice one. I don't want you to. 